Ken Ham is a creationist, uh, and therefore he is not the smartest person around. So it's no surprise that his Ark-themed project, the Noah's Ark Park, is failing miserably in Kentucky, of all places. Who knew, right? Now, this partly publicly funded $92 million Ark Encounter project built in Williamston, uh, Kentucky, it's not really doing all that well in the promise to uh, bring jobs to the area and help local businesses. And that, of course, has some people rather unhappy. Uh, you have uh, Grant County Judge Executive Steve Wood telling WKYT, quote, I think the Ark's done well for itself. And he laughed in the middle of that. And I'm glad for them on that, but it's not done us good at all. So, I mean, there's a there's an official saying, boy, yeah, we thought this was going to maybe help or they tried to sell it to us that it would actually boost business in the area. Turns out, nope, that's not what happened. Local business owners have been challenged accounts. Their profit margins haven't been raised by Ham's project, according to Alternet. Uh, now, how many people visit this art park anyway? Uh, this is important. Estimates for the park's annual draw are between 1.4 and 2.2 million vis visitors annually. Now approaching the one-year anniversary of its grand opening, park co-founder Mike Sobath said visitor tallies will hit 1 million as of July, but that figure cannot be confirmed by outside sources. So, Ron, it seems to me that a lot of people don't seem to be interested in this grand Noah's Ark Park. Weird, huh? Well, I think a lot of people, um, I think most of the people that want to go to it, and, and this is like an honest assessment, I think most of the people that want to go to it, uh, they want to do so ironically. Like, like they're just like really curious to be like, I, I just want to see how ridiculous that is. And then they face the moral conflict of, but do I want to give this organization my money? Because they're still winning at the end. It doesn't matter if I go to the park and I'm just gonna, you know, take a bunch of selfies and make funny posts on Instagram, which if I was ever there, that would be exactly what I would do. I, I would be yeah. tweeting the whole time. I would probably like live stream some of it and just be like, this is how absolutely fucking ridiculous this all is. Look at how insane this is. Um, if there were employees that were creationists, I would want to interview some of them, uh, you know, see how they tick. Um, and that would be what I would do with it. Right. However, at the end of the day, they would still have my money. Unless, of course, I figured out a way to go in for free. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, so I think a lot of people, they face that moral argument. And sometimes they'll rule on the side of, you know what? I don't want to give this organization my money. Uh, I'm just going to go to Six Flags. But, but the problem here is, is that at least if you live in Kentucky, they already have your money. Because they took it to build the park. Right. Uh, in fact, right. uh, here's how much. According to Church and State, the Ark Encounter received $18 million in state tax incentives to offset the cost of the park's construction. A 75% property tax break over 30 years from the city of Williamston. Now, that's about a town of 3,000 near where the park would be located. An $11 million road upgrade in a rural area that would almost exclusively facilitate traffic going to and from the park. So, hey, if you live in that town and you're, you know, your roads are falling apart, you've got potholes everywhere, sad day for you, the Ark Park's got to have its own road. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> you also have a $200,000 gift from the Grant County Industrial Development Authority to make sure the project stays in that county. So, there's a bribe right there. Uh, 100 acres of reduced price land, and finally, $62 million uh, in municipal bond issues from Williamston that Ham claims has kept the park uh, project from sinking. So there's all the money that's gotten poured into this, uh, and from what where I'm sitting, it looks like a boondoggle. It looks like they got screwed. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, absolutely, man. It looks like yeah. they're not delivering... No, and guess who what? Uh, Ken Ham, he's got someone to blame. He knows exactly who to blame for this. Uh, not God, which ironically you would that you know you would think that uh, if you were doing good by God, God would send you visitors, right? If he's that powerful. No, right. no, not blaming you think, God. You think he would even give them a dinosaur to ride to the park on? Yeah, you think. You think uh, he'd even just give them a T Rex so they could ride there? You know, save uh, no, 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 that might transportation costs. That might eat you though. That, that might not work. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, presumably. But presumably. I, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that they were among no. the tamed because they didn't have the they didn't have the big hands. So people uh, 
people oh, so domesticated them. Yeah, but things sure. with maybe things it was with, just. But but things maybe was, it was just the omnivores. I'm not sure. Maybe I gotta, maybe I gotta go back to my uh, my Bible and maybe and salt that. But let me just say that things with small hands can be very dangerous. Still, I mean, look at our president. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. Oh. I got it. Small hands joke. Uh, anyway. No, uh, Kenneth Ham does not blame God. Does not blame the taxpayer. Guess what? Who? Guess what? He does blame. He blames the atheists and the liberal media, oh. which would, of course, uh, Bill Nye would be oh. probably part of, uh, part of both. Now he said, sadly, uh, they are investing, uh, influencing business investors and others in such a negative way that they may prevent Grant County, Kentucky, from achieving an economic recovery that its officials and residents have been seeking. He also says. Uh, why so many lies and misinformation? Simply because we're in a spiritual battle and the intolerant secularists are so upset with such world-class attraction like the Ark and Creation Museum. I'm sorry, I can't not laugh at that. That publicly proclaim a Christian message? He said that they will resort to whatever tactics they deem necessary to try to malign the attractions. Uh, and this, of course, is... Uh, more reflective of what the media says. Uh, he says that nowadays the me- it seems to fear if you reporters in the secular media actually want to report facts regarding what they, what co- what they cover as news. I found that not only do these things, uh, these kinds of reporters generally do very poor, lazy research. They will actually make things up for their agenda purposes. <laughs> so talk about poor and lazy research though, right? Uh, let me ask you a question. What's lazier? God did it? An answer to every question? I mean, God did it's pretty or what, lazy. What's the, what's or, the, or, or actually God doing or uh, real journalism. Or actually talking about what's really going on. Oh, I what's, I God mean, the, really, what's yeah, lazier yeah, yeah. than that, right? You know, maybe it's just like Kenneth, he's also not uh, acknowledging the fact that this shit's been done, man. I spent some time in Orlando, Florida. Holy Land is there. It's one of the parks in Orlando, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's like a you know big Jesusy park or whatever. Sure. And uh, you know a lot of the people that live in Orlando, they they kind of work in that industry. My buddy told me he's like, yeah, dude, my son applied for a job at Holy Land, but it was the last park on the list. It was like because that's like the park where you're least likely to get a gig, and it's the shittiest one. No one gives a shit. There's probably a number of reasons for that. Maybe their rides aren't as good. Or maybe their rides are good, but you have to ask yourself, do you really want to put yourself in the hands of a ride uh, where the narrative of the park is the only thing that matters is getting into heaven? I'd rather be on the side of physics and go somewhere like Universal, a secular park that really has my safety as priority number one. So Kenneth Ham's un- his, his park, it's been done before, man. There's Holy Land in Orlando, maybe you're just overlooking the fact that, that you know, you're kind of hack, you're late to the party. Uh, I know people already have a million and five reasons to go to Kentucky. It's a very hot tourist destination. But maybe, just maybe, it's not hot enough that it's really bringing people in from around the globe. Could you say that it's hot as hell? <laughs> no. Maybe. Maybe, but that might imply that climate change is real, and we all know that's a hope. Oh, yes, of course. Now, look, um, yes, uh, I, I did kind of make fun of religious people a little bit uh, in this segment. Well, okay, I've been, I made fun of Ken Ham. Uh, but don't get me wrong. You can actually be a religious person and still be factual. I know, it's crazy, right? Uh, in fact, many of the world's... Yeah, yeah, most Christians are not creationists. Right, exactly. They're, small, they're the fringe. It's a small percentage. They're the fringe. Uh, look, many of the world's best scientists have been religious in nature. So, but the thing about this is that religion is based on faith, not facts. Uh, and that's where Ken Ham is coming from. He just takes it all, like, he doesn't care at all about facts. The fact that his park is doing absolutely terrible and has taken so much taxpayer money to do so, to fail in such a spectacular fashion. Um, look, the fact is, he wasted all this money on the stupid, ridiculous park. And I wouldn't be making fun well, of this as you know much. What? Well, I mean, look, we wouldn't be making fun of this if, if they didn't take public taxpayer money, right? I mean, that's, that's the whole I'd gist of this. I'd be making fun of it anyway. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't waste my time. That's the thing. Fair uh, but the fact that it, it, it has taken I public understand. money is ridiculous. Why are we funding these things? It, 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 you know, it's, yeah, I understand it's, 
I, I mean, I guess they were trying to bring in uh, tourists and stuff. But again, this was a really, really bad investment. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.